what, what, what the lady's is talking about. What's up, family? Shakari Richardson has been at the center of controversy for a while now, but it appears that the 21-year-old sprinter's attitude might be to blame. Shakari recently felt the wrath of Black Twitter, and it was not pretty. This because of her shade that she threw towards three-time world champion track and field sprinter, Allison Felix. Allison appeared on Jimmy Kimmel on August 24th, where she spoke about her experience at the Tokyo Olympics, and she gushed about the release of her new women's shoe brand. The 2020 Olympic bronze medalist also sent some words of encouragement to Shakari Richardson, who has been blasted online recently especially after her relatively underwhelming performance at the Nike Prefontaine Classic last week. Fans were disappointed with her performance because they hoped that she'd make a stronger comeback following her month-long suspension. So what did Allison say? I know that she's obviously been through so much and I hope that she's just supported. I hope people rally around her. Obviously, she has a great personality and she's brought a lot of attention to the sport, and I think she'll be in the sport for a very long time. She continued, I think just more than anything, for all athletes, there's so much that goes into it. Just give her the support that she needs. What was wrong with that, fam? Obviously, a lot, if you ask Shakari. Shakari didn't appreciate it. She went online and said, encouraging words on TV shows are as real as, well, nothing at all. Damn, where did that come from? You know, is there something going on that we don't know? Like, I mean, did there's some type of tension before that that they were, they were, they had words or, you know, there was some shade before that or something because that makes absolutely no sense. You know, I guess if they had a little friction or whatever going on, I mean, like some mutual friction where both of them had bumped heads before or something and they know that they don't like each other and she and Allison went on, Allison went on TV fronting, okay, I get that. But if she's just going off of some rumor of what she has made up in her head and she thinks that that girl is the enemy, and she ain't got no type of proof, you know, and she just mad because she commented about it. I don't know about that, fam. Let me tell you something, fam. A lot of times, you ever notice how uh, some people feel like they always wake up talking about their haters? That's all they talk about is haters every day. Haters, haters, haters. And a lot of times it's just, in, it's all in the person's head. Man, people ain't even worried about you like you thinking people worried about you. People ain't thinking about you and talking about you like you think they thinking about you and talking about you all the time. Man, people got other stuff to do. I think I think some people, uh, it's, it's just insecurity, fam. I just believe that's what it is oftentimes, it's insecurity. And whether it's insecurity or not, you know, to, to, to have that level of, uh, contempt for somebody that has brought so much to the sport like Allison uh, Felix. Uh, that has to speak volumes about your character. It's got to, it's got to. You know, I know that she's young. She's 21 years old, but you know, slippers go, man. You know, uh, being young is really not an excuse for ignorance, you know, and let's just say you just certain things you, you just don't know because you are young. Uh, it's still going to cost you. Young or not, it's going to cost you. You're still going to be responsible, held responsible for your actions. So, uh, but I'll tell you this also, being young is no excuse for being uh, uh, mean-spirited. It's not an excuse for, uh, you know, a person being uh, disrespectful. It's not, you know, uh, being disrespectful can put you in some real, real bad positions. You learn early on, you know, 
uh, one of the first things you learn, you know, as a child is to be respectful. So that don't cost you nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with age. You know, at that point, you got to really look at yourself and say, you know, you know, how do I hold myself responsible? I mean, how much of this is really on me and my attitude? Because you can keep on, some of y'all are making excuses and stuff saying, well, you know, she's young, she's young. You know, she's young. Yeah, hopefully she'll grow out of it. But, you know, let's hope that that happens before time runs out. Because there is a narrow window for athletes to go in there and get it and come back with it. That window is very narrow. So, uh, you know, the, the world is not going to be patient with you and, and your shenanigans like your, your, like your family would, you know, or the people that really love you would. They're not going to be that patient. There's thousands of athletes out there who would want to be in the position that she's in, who would want to have an opportunity for endorsements, who would want to get that type of shine that she's been getting. There's thousands of our athletes out there and they got better attitudes. Let's face it. She's going to have to check her attitude. You know, it's something that I personally had to work on myself. You know, like, uh, hey, man, my 20s, man, I was a straight up cowboy. 20s, even 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 30s, you know, like up to like mid 30s. I was, man, I am, man, hey, man. You know, like everything, damn near everything offended me. And I would get at somebody like, man, I mean, boy, I had a high trigger temper. I'm talking about it. like I take off in a heartbeat. And yeah, some some things, some people that I took off on, they just definitely deserved it. Uh, they were out of pocket. But there was other times where I, I think that I may have overreacted. And, you know, I accept that. Uh, in some situations, I paid for that. But yeah, hopefully she do learn. She is a very talented girl. She's a very passionate girl. Uh, she is a well woman. She's a very passionate woman. Uh, and that's that's all good. But she's gonna have to be able to channel that passion and that and that and that that talent, that energy in the right place. Or else she's gonna lose it. You know, these gifts that we have, uh, they have an expiration date. Uh, especially when it comes to sports. You see? That window is very, very short. So she better get it together before they leave her alone. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.